Epilepsy has been called the sacred disease, a subject of fascination and a source of fear for all of recorded history. Early cultures almost universally viewed epilepsy as a form of possession. In the New Testament, Jesus cures a boy with seizures by casting out the demons believed to be tormenting him. And for centuries, epilepsy has carried a deep and abiding stigma. It was used to help diagnose witches in the Middle Ages. So it, it's had this terrible connotation over time. And I think it's seen as this loss of control. It's something that, that unfortunately evokes fear in people. Well into the 20th century, there were laws in the U.S. that forbid people with epilepsy to marry, and mandatory sterilization was legal in some states until 1974. This kind of discrimination meant that until very recently, epilepsy has remained in the shadows, both misunderstood and understudied. We really don't understand uh, what it really is when a seizure happens and how they uh, affect people in so many different ways and how they're so difficult to control. It's um, sort of amazing what we don't know about seizures. It's, it's, it's much more than we do know. What is known is that all seizures start with a burst of abnormal electricity in the brain. During a seizure, the cells in the brain are actually communicating too much. There's too much electrical activity, and it exceeds this normal threshold of the way the brain cells should be communicating together. Some seizures affect the entire brain at once, sending it into a frenzy of overactivity. Others start in one specific area, but can spread uncontrollably. The way I conceive of seizures is that they are essentially a fire in the brain. A brush fire can spread organically, going sort of down a road from one place to the next, or can jump over a ravine from one area of the brain to another that's far away. It's chaotic. Uh, it's intermittent. Uh, its behavior is unpredictable. Its duration is unpredictable. I could be with my children on a playground. I could potentially be driving a car and suddenly have a seizure and lose control, it, it can always be on the back of your mind. It's like a sword of Damocles waiting to drop. Epilepsy can be caused by injuries to the brain at birth, by certain genetic abnormalities, by trauma from a blow to the head, or by lasting damage after a stroke or infection. But for half of all patients, there is no obvious cause. Right now, when we're, we attempt to develop treatments for epilepsy, it's mostly a guessing game. So what we do now is we try drugs that, based on the little we know, we think may interfere with and block seizures or even prevent them. And sometimes that works, um, and sometimes that's fantastic. However, there are at least a third of epilepsy patients who do not respond at all to these drugs. And we really, to be honest, don't know why. Thank you.